Happy Thursday. Years ago, I remember a, uh, um, a commercial for um, the lottery here in New Mexico. And not that I'm advocating lottery in any way, shape, or form. However, the um, expression was, you can't win if you don't play. Yeah, or have you ever heard this expression? If you never try, you'll never know. Well, Solomon has a little something to say about that today, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna read and dive into that. So um, I'm Pastor Mark, and I'm with Heights Christian Church. And uh, what we are doing as a as a community of believers is we are going through the Bible in five years, and so daily I ask you to join with us, subscribe to this channel, and so on a daily basis we'll read a portion of Scripture, and at that point. We will take a little something out of that to help us have the Bible shape our lives to be more like Jesus. Sound good? Great. Well, let's just dive into Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and read and see what Solomon has to say here. As dead flies give perfume a bad smell, so a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor. The heart of the wise inclines to the right, but the heart of the fool to the left. Even as fools walk along the road, they lack sense and show everyone how stupid they are. If a ruler's anger rises against you, do not leave your post. Calmness can lay great offenses to rest. There is an evil I have seen under the sun, the sort of error that arises from a ruler. Fools are put in many high positions, while the rich occupy the low ones. I have seen slaves on horseback while principles go on while, while princes go on foot like slaves. Whoever digs a pit may fall into it. Whoever breaks through a wall may be bitten by a snake. Whoever quarries stones may be injured by them. Whoever splits logs may be endangered by them. If the axe is dull and its edges unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring success. If a snake bites before it is charmed, the charmer receives no fee. Words from the mouth of the wise are gracious, but fools are consumed by their own lips. At the beginning, their words are folly. At the end, they are wicked madness, and fools multiply words. No one knows what is coming. Who can tell someone else what will happen after them? The toil of fools wearies them. They do not know the way to town. Woe to the land whose king was a servant and whose princes feast in the morning. Blessed is the land whose king is of noble birth and whose princes eat at a proper time for strength and not for drunkenness. Through laziness, the rafters sag. Because of idle hands, the house leaks. A feast is made for laughter. Wine makes for life merry. And money is the answer for everything. Do not revile a king even in your thoughts or curse the rich in your bedroom. Because a bird in the sky may carry your words and a bird on the wing may report what you say. Well, again, there's a lot of great wisdom in here and put in stuff we could talk all about. What does it mean? And the weariness of bad leaders and the right and the left, but I chose to look at some a passage here, and this is Ecclesiastes 8 and 10. I think this will be an encouragement to you today. Whoever digs a pit may fall into it. Whoever breaks through a wall may be bitten by a snake. Whoever quarries stones may be injured by them. Whoever splits logs may be endangered by them. I think very clearly this is what Solomon is saying, that life is a risk. If you attempt things, there is a chance for failure. There's a chance to be hurt. A, but he is encouraging you to try and to do some of these things. Risk brings reward. And we need to be able to be willing to risk our, risk our looking like an idiot or... Um, being hurt by something. We're going to try to be safe, but we, 
some everything needs to be risked. The whole idea about quarrying a stone, you could sell quarried stones for a large amount of money, but it's a dangerous proposition. So there, there needs to be a willingness to try, a willingness to take risks in life. Listen, there's so many people who are not willing to take risks and they don't get re any rewards too and then they whine about it. Here, Solomon goes on and says, if the ax is dull and its edge unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring success. My friends, how do you get skill? You get skill by practicing, working on it. I can guarantee you all the major league ball players that have ever did it, they have worked countless times, been on the practice field, doing multiple hours in hitting, catching, running, jumping, all of those things to develop the skills which, which they are quite successful at. But nobody is a natural at anything when you first start. It takes practice, it takes success. So I'm telling you guys, don't be afraid to take risks in your life. Don't be afraid to try something new when it comes to anything in your life. You know what? God can put you in an uncomfortable position because he wants to grow you. And that's my encouragement for you. I hope that you will step out in faith and let God use the experience to help you become skilled in whatever he wants you to do. I hope that you have a great day and we'll talk to you tomorrow.